Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a daily vlog. I have a lot to share with you. We wanna go to Costco later today. Andrew's gonna see a couple of home patients um, this afternoon, so we'll go when he gets back. So this morning, we're just gonna clean up the house. I got ready, I did my makeup, I have got some comfy clothes on so I can clean up, do a little organizing. I also wanted to show you guys, um, yeah. They're in the oranges. I also wanted to share some favorites. Ooh, very cool. Of the year. So maybe I'll just add them into vlogs. Like today we could do kitchen favorites and then in the next video I'll do like beauty favorites and things like that. So let's get to cleaning. Junie, tell us what happened last night. My tooth fell out. Her first tooth. How did it happen? I bit her dress and just like pulled out on the couch. June and Violet were like wrestling and she bit her leg, her dress, and then she goes, my tooth! And it fell through the couch onto the ground, which led to us taking apart the whole couch. And then we saw how dirty it was. Yeah. And that was in the castle. Oh, and so we ended up vacuuming everything underneath, moving the rug a tad. Oh, and Violet wants to show you her teeth. She's lost how many? Two. Two. I lost a lot of mammoths and mammoths in the car. Yeah. Owen, how many teeth have you lost? <laughs> no teeth. No teeth. Why? Because you're only three. You're only three. Yeah. wiped down in here at least. I gotta put away a few dishes. The girls have been listening to me pause it. They're little Yodo players. And I love these. They're so cute. Um, I got them for the girls for Christmas and I used our charter funds, which was very awesome. So I got a lot of like classic books for them. There's stories, there's music. Um, there's one on like the human body that they really like. And just fun for them to listen to. Cow plays. What's your favorite? Mine is. I got two favorites. Okay. I like Secret Garden and Jungle Book. Mm -hmm. Those are good. We need to read Secret Garden still. The Secret Garden, you know? Yeah. What are your favorite ones? I like um, the Mom? Mom's body one. Yeah. And, um, and if they all oh. really monkey puzzle. Oh, okay. If the monkey puzzle. Oh. That's always the different moms. Remember? I've never heard it before. Remember we remember we saw you pick monkey puzzle? Monkey puzzle? Yeah. Hey, you know what we need to do right now, Owen? Go wash all your clothes, huh? Because you have no more clean jammies.
share some of my kitchen favorites from this past year that I just have been loving in our kitchen. Now, some of these are like antique finds or things that I found locally. So if that's the case, I'm gonna try to do the best I can at finding a comparable option. So the first thing is my match striker. Absolutely love this. It's just this really pretty reactive glaze in this pretty green and brown color. You put the matches up top and I don't even buy like the longer matches. I just put normal ones in there. And then you go like that. And I use this almost every day. We love it so much and this is like the best thing for our kitchen. And it looks just really cute too. I keep it right on our island. Okay, next up are my berry bowls. These get so much use. Right now they're just kind of out for decor pretty purposes. These ones came in a set. I actually got these, I have my diffuser remote in there. I got these off of Amazon. So they're under $30 for the two of them and I saw they carry just separate ones at Studio McGee and like double the price. So if you can find these still, because I last, I were doing a um, My Favorite Things party with a couple of the moms in our co-op and I got these and there were only a few left. So I'll link those down below, but I think they're so pretty and just unique. They have like a lot of movement through them. They have just the pretty like tones, the creamy tones. So I love that we use them for berries, tomatoes, a lot of different things. And then this one I found at like a local place, but again, I'm really into green, brown, and like tan colors right now. Just gets a ton of use and just visually very pretty to me. Next up is my tea kettle. Now, it's so funny because I never realized that people who don't live in the United States don't use tea kettles on their stove. They use electric ones. So let me know down below. Do you guys use an electric tea kettle? or one on the stove. So I got this one on Etsy actually, and it's just really like patinaed already over the course of me having it in our house. And I just think it looks so beautiful and antique-y. I love the detail of this handle. Look at that. I mean, and look at the spout. It's just the cutest thing. And we use this all the time. We do a lot of tea here. Okay, moving on, I love my crock. I got this from an antique shop. It was made in England, which I love. That's one of my favorite things about finding antiques is seeing where they're made on the bottom. And I just feel like it has just, adds a little bit of history and character into your house. And I am literally dying to go antique shopping right now. Oh, but the kids had a cold last week and so we kind of Put everything on pause. I just haven't had any really minute to go solo. Um, I think that's just what it is like as a homeschool mom. You're just you're not really alone much. So, okay, I love my crock, and I just have loved everything that I filled it with. Uh, this was another antique find. This really cute little wooden uh, rolling pin, but there is one spoon in particular that I can link for you. It is the perfect spoon. I have a weird thing with finding wooden spoons. Look at the shape of this, isn't this cool? Oh honey, are you emptying the trash? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You can just put it outside and I'll, I'll dump it. Okay, um, I love how it's like this grayish brown tone and it works well and it looks really cute in here. I don't know, just something about wooden spoons. I'm very picky about finding. Okay, if you can reach, it's, it's kind of full though. This one I like it too. I think I found this one at Home Goods, but I like looking for ones with like a grayish tone to them. The rest, kind of old. This one I think I got at, this must have been Home Goods too. Yeah, Tavola. I don't know where that one's from, but that's a good one. Um, so anyways, I'm always on the on the hunt for like good wooden spoons. Oh, did I even say where this one's from? This is from World Market and I believe it was like $5. So they have really good wooden spoons. I was there for something during the holidays and I saw one of their wooden spoons and I was like, that is the spoon. So anyways, I thought I'd share that with you. Basically, I'm just showing you everything on my countertops. Okay, next up is this menu, or not menu, um, 
recipe holder. So I originally got this for homeschool and it has some sequins in here and hot glue, <laughs> which is typical, but I wanted it for our books. So like if I'm reading a book or a big picture book, I can put it in here, prop it up. But I also love to use it for actual menus or why do I keep saying menus, recipe books. So this is Magnolia Table. I love this recipe and I like to just kind of find something weekly or bi-weekly that I want to make or find inspiration from or sometimes I'll just turn it to a page that's like really pretty like there's a couple just big open like this there's just a lot of pretty pages in here but any book you have like look how pretty that one is too so right now I have it to monkey bread because we are currently out of eggs. Okay, is there an egg shortage where you guys live too? Oh, that's trash actually. Thank you though. So whenever we go buy eggs, they're gone right now. There is literally no eggs and at Costco, I think you're limited to buy one or two carts of them. So I need eggs, but I wanted to make this monkey bread because I just recently got some active dry yeast and I thought I would try to make this gluten-free version and then the other day we made the coffee cake which is so good i've made it a few times oh it's right right here it is delicious i'm gonna make a reel soon because i shared how i make it so make sure you're following me on instagram for that on instagram i'm gonna try to make like a lot more quick cooking videos and they'll have the recipe down below because whenever i post something Food related, everyone asked for the recipes, so I figured this way I can just have it all there for you. Oh, also I think we've made these, the maple walnut scones. So um, yeah, I just love to have this displayed on our countertop. I think it looks really pretty and it's very functional. It serves a good purpose. Okay, so let's have a chat about coffee cups. Let me pull out a few. So we had, we've gone through phases of coffee cups. I feel like we went through kind of the anthropology looking ones that we got when we first got married, like very colorful. And then we started to collect the Starbucks ones, the where have you been ones or what they're called. And I was like so over them. And I want everything in our kitchen to be stoneware, antique looking, like lived in, earthy. And so I was like, I need to do an overhaul of these coffee cups. So I have been scouring the internet to find like a specific type of cup. I want them all to be different earth tones and like the reactive glaze I love. However, <laughs> some coffee cups are like 30, $35. I just cannot believe that. So I'm going to share these because I've got all of these are under $10. I've spent a little on shipping, but pretty much everything's under $10 in like the $6 range. And I have two that are on back order. So if I can find a picture, I'll put those on here so you can see them. I've had really good luck with Crate and Barrel and CB2. Those are my favorite places right now for mugs. So here are the ones that I found up until now. Aren't they so cute? I love just the kind of collected look that they give. So cute. I can't remember the brand or the website off the top of my head, but I think it was like Lila something. I follow them on Instagram now. This was $6, I believe. And is this not the cutest mug? I love the shape of it. I love the brown color that it has. Just really cool looking and it feels really nice in your hand. This one is CB2, made in Portugal. And they have a couple different colors of these. I love the green. I did not know it would have this kind of metallic look to it, but I really do like it. Feels really nice in your hand and it's just a perfect size mug. And again, the color, really, really good. Okay, this one is also CB2 and this has like the smaller handle on here. This is a little bit lighter. I wish this one was a little bit heavier, but it's like a really cute little size. Here is that in comparison. I'm, I like like an eight ounce cup. If they're too big, let me show you one that I have that's too big. This one's from Crate and Barrel and I feel like this is a large coffee cup. I think this is a 12 ounce cup. Okay, this one is so pretty. Um, this, is, where did I get this one from? A random website. I wanna say it was something Habitat. 
You can also find these on other websites for much more money, but it's the exact same thing. Isn't this so cute? The crimped bottom, so pretty. Okay, love that one. This one though says do not microwave. And then these two are both from World Market, but the same look. This one I really like because it's a little smaller. I think this must be a six ounce cup. It's really cute. And I, I like the ribbed on the side. It just feels nice and grippy. But yeah, you can see this one's smaller than here. They also had an ivory color. I think the brown sold out. This was, I believe, $4, super cheap. And then this one has a nice weight to it. Andrew, this is probably his favorite. He really likes this. It's so funny because I'll get one and he's like, he doesn't like change. And then I noticed that he, he is using this one all the time. The other area I wanted to switch out were the kids' dishes. So I had just the cheap ones from Target. They're BPA free, which I obviously am looking for. However, they were scratching. Like as I was, I kept washing them, I would notice like a lot of scratches on the bottom and I just didn't like that. And I felt like they've been really well used and I wanted to find something else a little bit more durable. So I found this brand called Mushi. It is made in Denmark. And the muted colors were very appealing to me. I just feel like it's just nice. They feel a little bit more weighted than the other plates that we have. And there's a lot of different colorways. So I got six plates and six bowls. Again, really nice bowls. I just washed all these so they're wet. But I got the vanilla, the mustard, and the light blue color. I feel like they're just really nice and neutral. They also had a lilac color, uh, a gray, and more of like a daffodil yellow. And then I would also like to get some of the cups, just like little drinking cups. They have more color options for those. They have a blush pink, a green. So I don't know if I want the same colors as these or to like mix it up. Or I might just do all the cups in this vanilla color actually, to just kind of keep it simple. But yeah, I really, really love these. And they, they match our kitchen really nice. And then the, the silverware that we use for the kids, I found these off of Amazon and I absolutely love them. They're the stainless steel, um, comes in a set and they're nice because they're bigger than like baby forks and spoons, but they're not quite adult silverware and they're just nice, they're durable. I also got some of these and we use them out at the river too. So they're just like the perfect size. Okay, the next thing I wanted to share, these are from Crate and Barrel, these wooden bowls. We have four of these, and I keep them in our open cabinet so you can see them. And I love these for so many things. For snacks for the kids, sometimes we'll just use these because they're nice and lightweight. Um, if like our other stuff is dirty or something, they look really nice if you are having people over and you're doing like a little spread of crackers and dip. You can use these for different things, for nuts, for treats, anything. I like to use this for popcorn at night. It's just like a nice alternative to having like your porcelain dishes, something a little lighter and they're really cute. I love the look of them and the feel. I believe they have other sizes too, but these are just like the perfect little stackable bowls. Next up, I have two bowls that are more serveware. They're bigger. I got these at a really cute um, like antique shop in Old Town but i have found that you can get these online too so a few of their i can tell like where their one of their suppliers is because i've seen the same things so there are these really pretty stoneware dishes they also have mugs too I, i'm sure you guys are aware of what i like right now here's this bigger option too but this is really nice for like a meal for dinner if you're doing a pasta dish to put it in this these are really heavy and weighted I love putting them up in our glass cabinetry. They look really pretty displayed too. So I just use them as decor and I also use them as serveware. Right now this one's on our on one of our shelves in our living room. And then this one I keep up here. But yeah, same thing as that like cool reactive glaze. So every single one is different. They have just a really nice feel to them and charm and they're really cute. Okay, last thing I wanted to show you in the kitchen for my one of my favorites. This I got from our wedding registry over 10 years ago, and it's from Crate and Barrel, and it's this awesome butcher block cutting board. 
I was just looking on their website yesterday and saw they still have this and they also have a round version and like a twice the size version too. It is truly the best cutting board. I use it almost every single day. I love how big it is. And I keep it like just on our, I'll show you. I keep it just whoop, on our counter. So I'll, I'll kind of move it to this side. So if ever I'm doing something, like if I'm taking something out of the kitchen, I like to sometimes just put it on here. So if it's making a mess, like a snack or something, it's I can just wash this rather than having to wash the whole countertops. It's great to just have out for when I'm making dinner and it's truly served us very well. After doing this, I've realized that I really like Crate and Barrel. They have a lot of really great kitchen stuff that is, I feel like it's simple, it's timeless and classic, but it also works really well. So. Probably my number one spot for buying kitchen stuff and it's not super expensive. Um, but let me know what you guys, like where you get your kitchen stuff decor and whatnot. Let me know in the comments. Okay, one other thing, I know I've been on a drinkware kick for the new year. So I got two new water bottles. They're still not here yet. So I'll do a photo so you can see them. So I have this Stanley, which somehow is always out of stock. I do not quite understand why. Um, Yes, I do like it, but there are a few cons to it. One, the leakage situation. It leaks all the time. Like, And I even bought this special stopper for this water bottle, but then it, the suckage was off. So I like the handle. I like that it fits in my car um, and that it's big, but it's having the exposed straw, it makes it not ideal to take out and about. And the same thing goes with how it leaks. Like if it spills over with them, and if I'm with the kids, like if we're on a hike with their friends or at the park, it's always gonna spill. So I just feel like, and I don't like having this straw out. They have another one that is a 30 ounce. This is a 40 ounce and it has a flip down straw, which I prefer, but it also has this bottom bit. So it still fits in your car. And instead of the side handle, it has one at the top that you could hold, just like super durable. So I got one of those actually for our like Christmas gift exchange for us moms. And that was like the hot item, everybody wanted it. So um, I'll put a picture so you can see what that one looks like. They released a couple of new colors and I jumped on it and I got the rose quartz one and it sold out so fast, it's just like nuts. The other one that I got is the Simply Modern. They came out with like a dupe for this, which is so smart on, their part like any water bottle company should realize how much of a demand this water bottle is and recreate it somehow so there's a similar the handles slightly different um they have really pretty muted colors too but the straw is like there so i have the simply modern tumbler which i love it, i love this for like smoothies if i'm on the go and sometimes i'll make it for andrew for work so it's really cool looking. Um, see the straw? So it goes right in and it does not leak at all. So that is how their new tumbler is with the handle, their water bottle. So that is, surprise it's not here by now, but I got that one in kind of a similar color as this one. And I'm pretty sure I'll be using that much more. And then my, um, the Stanley that I got with the flip down straw, that's what I'm gonna be taking like on the go. I also, so I had the Takaya, Takaya, I'm not sure how, how you pronounce it. It's very similar to like a Hydro Flask. The reason I don't like it, I do like it. It has a flip down straw, but it goes all the way down here. So it doesn't fit in my cup holder. And for some reason that drives me nuts when I'm driving like, plus the car, I drive an Expedition Max, it's very big. So if my water bottle's on the ground next to me or the seat, it's, I don't know, it just feels like far away. Okay, I never know if they're crying or laughing. So having my bottle right next to me is quite a luxury to have. Um, okay. So anyways, um, I will, keep this and I'll keep my Takaya, Takaya one, um, in the cupboard for now. But once those come, I think those will be like my go-to water bottles. All right, we just got done eating lunch at Panera and now we are at Costco to get some shopping done. Hi, 
going? Okay, we just got back from Costco and we had to go to Barron's too because Costco was completely out of eggs. So we stopped at Barron's and I got a few other Wait, things. How nuts is that though? The they eggs. usually have thousands of eggs. Do you know why I, I read about it? Well, there's like an egg shortage in California. I know, but do you know why? No. There's a flu outbreak for chickens. Oh, really? And so like millions of chickens have died. Yeah, I didn't either until about 20 minutes ago. And they said because of increased costs for shipping and everything. No. And like feed and whatnot. But I'll be taking a nap if you need me. Okay. So we also don't get everything at Costco. We have to kind of like fill in stuff from Barron. So this will be good to show you guys what we can get from Costco in bulk and then what we just get at our local grocery store. Okay, so let's start with Costco. We are pretty much out of all of our meat right now. So we've been getting this four pack of ground turkey. Also, the kids are all in quiet time right now because all three of them, like none of them wanted to sit in the cart at, I was going to the bathroom, at Costco. So all three are just loose. And it was just like, and we went to Panera before to eat lunch. And so Andrew and I are a little spent right now. <clears throat> so after I show you all this, I'm gonna lay on the couch. Okay, we got turkey, some chicken. I got like the chicken tenders. It comes in a big three pack. And we also get our sausage there. Um, at Barron's, we will get just like one pack of this, but it's nice to get the trio. This is the chicken and apple. So it's um, chicken sausage. Alrighty, for some dairy, we got a double thing of milk that is in the outside fridge because we have some right now, but it's nice to have some on hand. Uh, also some yogurts, these are the Stonyfield Kids. We have some of the That's It bars. All the kids love these and I like them too. Oh, and really likes them a lot. So I like them because all they have is two ingredients in them. A thing of apples. More of the gluten-free crackers. A pack of the Perfect Bars, I love these. You guys know how I get these every time. You get the peanut kind and then the chocolate chip, which is the kind the kids all like. And then, oh, they were almost out of this butter too. The, this is their organic salted butter, it's really good. So I love having that. Okay, Nature's Bakery Fig Bars. You get a ton of these and these last us a really long time. And you get two of the fig bars in each package. So if we're having these at home, usually we can just split them between the kids. Some more pouches. I like the Costco brand because this one has the fruit and veggies in these ones. Some veggie straws and some Pirate's Booty. Last time we got the the puffs i think it's the annie's brand they were all out of those but those are really good and i would always have those at night watching tv okay so they also have a limit two for the eggs so i got two things of eggs here at Barron's. so that was everything that we got from Costco. or no two more things actually a big pack of the annie's pasta Peanut butter. We're going through this a lot quicker because Andrew's been doing his protein shakes with this. So we always have that on hand. And then the individual packs of hummus. Last time I got the big thing hummus and I just like having this more. The kids eat it more this way when it's in the big thing. They just don't like it as much. So let's probably get these from now on. And I feel like it lasts, it just lasts longer. Okay, at Barron's I love getting their bread there. It's just like great pure sourdough. All that's in here is wheat flour, sour starter, water and salt. So I got two of those, um, blueberries and raspberries. One thing of roasted garlic spaghetti sauce and I'm out of garlic powder so I got some of that, the Simply Organic brand. Basically we get produce here because I just am not a fan of the produce at Costco. I feel like it goes bad quick. There's too much of it, and even if, I don't know, just it just seems to go way faster, goes bad way faster than normal produce. And I've had multiple people I've talked to say the same thing. So I don't really buy any produce from there. I did get the apples, so those were fine. So I got some bananas, and I've, I've 
had good luck with like bananas and apples are fine. It's the other stuff that I just don't don't like it either. Got like three heads of broccoli and I got two zucchini squash and one yellow squash. And then just some pasta. So I got the gluten-free fettuccine and the gluten-free spaghetti. These are both brown rice pastas. And then this brand is at um, our grocery store. It's called Cadia. And it's a local market brand and it's organic and they have so many gluten-free options and it's really inexpensive. So I just love having that. But that's everything we got. I'm gonna put everything away. I hope you guys all enjoyed all of these kitcheny food ideas in today's video. Let me know what you guys wanna see next and I will see you all very soon.